Hi, it's Sarah from The Blogging Bunch, and today I wanted to give you a quick tour of Google Analytics Basics. Um, it can be seriously confusing, <clears throat> so I just want to give you what you need to know, what you need to start looking at, and um, check it. The very first thing when you get in, this is your the main dashboard of Google Analytics, is that you're going to want to um, adjust the time frame. It automatically sets for the last 30 days. Um, you can change that to the last month. You can change it to, if you can see, this is the starting, whatever's in blue, that's the first day and then the ending day. You can change it to the last six months. You can change it to whatever you want, or you can just do it um, for today <laughs> or yesterday. Go back to the beginning there. You can just do it yesterday. You can do it whatever you want. So. Um, yeah, that's not going to be pretty, is it, for the last day? Let's do. Let's do the last month there. All right, so I'm looking at the last month, and then I'm going to look over here on the side. Real time, if I go to click on overview, it's just going to tell me, oops, somebody was on my site, now they're gone. Um, it's going to tell me how many active users are on my site right now. And right now, um, there aren't any, but this part down here, top active pages, would tell you what pages they were looking at. Um, it's just kind of fun, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, hey, I've got over five people or 10 people, or if you're really having a good day, 50 people um, at one time looking at your site. So that's just kind of fun. It, you, it can, it'll show you a map of where they are in the world too. Um, the next part that I go to um, that you might want to check is your audience overview. And um, you can test, you can check demographics to see the age, the gender, and the interest categories of people that are reading your site. Um, and it might be good to check that every three to six months or so just to make sure that you're writing for the correct target audience. You wouldn't want to be writing for 30 something moms when you're really, um, when most of your readers are now uh, teenage boys. So. Um, let's see, next is acquisition. You can just go to the overview and this is gonna tell me how people are getting to my site, how I'm getting my traffic. So you can see social, organic, direct, referral. How people are coming and then um, you can also click on social here and it will give you a little bit more of a breakdown. Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Blogger, Google Plus. So that's how people are getting to my site, what social networks are getting there. Um, so the channels, how they're getting there. And you can click on each of these. And then referrals, I like to do that one also because that will tell me um, who's sending. So the top three on this site are Facebook, Pinterest, um, and then some other sites, not too many others. But if I'm doing, um, on my mommy blog, if I'm doing lots of linkies and linking up to different sites, I like to check this referral and um, you know you can set the date range for the last two months to see if you're getting any traffic from doing those linkies. Um, and if you're not, then find a new one. Um, you can also click here and it'll tell you like exactly which posts had to increase blog traffic, right? That's the, obviously one that's going to send traffic to us. Um, so to a blogging blog, <laughs> uh, but the um, you can tell which posts are sending traffic to you also. Um, behavior, this is where I spend most of my time um, because this tells me my page views, unique page views, bounce rate, um, my top 10 posts, um, I can check that very easily. Um, I have it set to come up with page views, but you can set it to different things and you can, you know, change it up. They must have changed something lately because it, it seems to be a little bit different in here. Um, but page views, unique page views, time on page, bounce rate, um, that tells you everything that you need to know all pages if you click on all pages it's going to tell you exactly you know your top 10 posts um, page views unique page views so not just people you know different people clicking on those but not the same person coming back and forth to that page um, 
average time on the page, how much time people are spending on it, and this bounce rate will tell me, look, this one has an 86% bounce rate. Um, so are people just kind of looking at it and then clicking away? Um, that's not, not good. So I might wanna see how, um, that's a pretty good post too. Um, I want to see what's causing people to just click away. Is it not long enough? Did I not do enough images in it? You know, what's causing people to click away? Whereas people are spending a little more time and taking some action on some of these. Um, you can also change, you can look at the last 100 posts that you did and it'll give you in all that same information for all the posts. Um, and remember, it's still in the last 30 days, so if you want it for the last year or two years, then you need to change the date range. Um, come on, let's check. One other thing here, I wanted to go just here. No, it's not gonna do it, overview. All right, overview. Um, nope, that's not gonna do it. Why is it not doing it today? Um, okay, so just the main page, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, it has these terms, page views, user sessions. Um, page views are obviously how many pages have been viewed. Um, pages per session, so um, a session is a 30 minute time block um, from the last action somebody took on your site. So within 30 minutes, that count, no matter how many pages they go to, that counts as one session. Um, so they're going to one and a half pages per session is what that's saying in about a little over two minutes. Um, so. The, this used to be called visits. If you're, if somebody's asking you for your visits or your unique visits, then that's they're asking for sessions. And then unique visitors um, is this users number. So how many people users that have had at least one session within the selected date range? Um, so they new and returning. That's the interesting part. There is that I could go to your blog every single day, and it might just be if you're doing this date range right in the last month then it might just be counted as as one person but then the page views would be um, higher so that's why these are so so different um because it's different users right they have your ip address and they can check all that stuff anyway just a quick walk through of google analytics i would definitely spend most of my time in this acquisition and behavior section and really getting to know how people are getting to your site and what it is they're looking at while there so you can know if you're on the right track and um, check out the bloggingbunch.com for more tips and we'll see you around